Now let's continue with numbers larger than 10. So we'll continue at 11, and in hexadecimal, 11 is represented with a B, and 12 is C, and then we have D, E, and F. And F is our largest digit in the hexadecimal system because that's one less than what the base is. <clears throat> so now we're at 16. So now we have one group of 16 and no ones. So one zero. So anytime we are at the base number in its own system, it's always represented with one group of that base number and then zero ones. So everything looks like 10 when we are at that number in that base system. So notice if we look back to the octal system, eight was represented as one zero, and then in the binary system, two was represented as one zero. All right, so now we're going to continue on, and we have, oops, one, 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 two. So I'm reading these as one, 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 two, rather than saying 11 and 12, because 11 is a base 10 number. So here, we don't mean 11, we mean one group of 16 and one, one, which makes 17. And then we have one, three and one, four, and we could continue on, but we're going to stop at the decimal equivalent um, or the equivalent of the decimal number 20. Okay, so now let's continue on with the octal system. Here we had one group of eight and two ones, that was 10. So we continue on with one three, one four, one five, one six, one seven. Now I'm at my largest digit. So I have zero in the ones place now, and I carry a one over, and I'm at two zero, which means two groups of eight and zero ones. Well, there you go. That's We're at 16, so that makes sense. And then two one, two two, two three, and two four. No surprises there. So now let's continue on with binary. Here I have one, zero, one, one, because I just had to increase by one there, and it was easy enough to do. But now I've maxed out on my one at the end here. So zero, carry a one. That's two twos. So I bring down a zero and I carry over, I have really one four. So we have one in the fours place and then still one in the eights place. And does that make sense? We have an eight and we have a four and no twos and no ones and that makes 12. So then I'll have one, one, zero, one, 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 zero, one, 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 one. Now I've maxed out all of those decimal place or <laughs> place values, not decimal places. Um, so what do we have next? We have, well, notice that we're at 16 in base 10. So we have, that's our next place value in the binary system. So I have one 16, no eights, no fours, no twos, no ones. And then I can continue on. 116 and 11 one one makes 17. 116 and 12 makes 18. 116, 12, and 11 one one makes 19. And 116 and 14 make 20. 
So I'm going to stop this video and take a look at an example from the homework in part three.